Hello folks, uh, thanks for looking at this video. Uh, this video presents one of our design which we have done for uh, train industry. It should comply with a lot of uh, standards and uh, tough requirements for train um, industry and uh, shortly we're gonna go through um, block diagram and uh, showing you the board and operation of the, this design. Uh, I hope that uh, you always keep coming and seeing our company. Uh, we are a design house in Canada and uh, can help any design in North America and uh, our website is www.astingo.com Now we are looking at the block diagram of this uh, design. Uh, this is a board uh, that converts 10 Hz to 1 kHz. Um, it has two channels absolutely independent channels um, the input and output both are 24 volt the input has a very very uh, high impedance so it's not creating any load for the primary um, uh, source of signal so any 24 volt pulse with 10 hertz uh, coming through any channel uh, cause the output corresponding output to have a, a 1 kilohertz 24 volt with uh, 2 amp current capability um, the system should be very reliable so if um, in absence of any signal to input the output should not be uh, generating any output uh, in any circumstance and uh, these two channels should be independent uh, plus um, a variation of the 24 volt input supply should not affect uh, the status of the output and the system should not uh, latch or uh, hang in any unwanted situation so we are using a watchdog inside the micro uh, in case of any uh, problem um, one more thing which is very important here is uh, input and output are subject to surge and disturbance and uh, should comply with uh, EMC requirement and uh, I'm hoping uh, in the next stage I show the board design and other things and explain more the details of this uh, system uh, or board like okay this is the board again you see the PCB board that we have designed to go around the strip on both sides of the PCB as you see on the top and bottom side uh, we have a full a ground coverage uh, on the bottom and uh, considerations on the design of PCB like uh, the current rating and uh, clearance other thing okay this is the board which is populated you see the components on the board connectors for input output and uh, plus the power supply on this end now I uh, wired up the circuit um, as you see here I am applying 10 Hz 24 volt to the input one and I am looking at um, output one um, as you see a green LED is light up here that means uh, the pulse 10 Hz pulse is uh, getting through channel one and uh, um, output is available now I move to the oscilloscope here what you see here is hopefully I can get uh, both uh, together okay here um, you will see both uh, frequency input and um, it's a channel one which is input this is the one kilohertz output so if I change the frequency it's supposed to have the output when the frequ input frequency varies from 8 Hz to almost 12 Hz if the frequency goes below 8 Hz as you see the output stop um, uh, cycling so as, as soon as it gets to 8 Hz we have output up to 12 Hz when it gets more than 12 Hz like 13 Hz again the output um, goes away I push it back to 10 Hertz if 
I go back to the circuit I want to show you if I swap the channels um, to channel 1 yeah, to channel 2 sorry um, the blue LED comes up you see the blue LED uh, blue LED indicates channel 2 so I switch everything to channel 2 um, the same as output similar things happens uh, if I go back to the scope hopefully it's visible here again if I move the frequency out of this uh, 8 to 10 uh, 12 Hertz then the output goes away you see here this 13 Hertz no output I push it down again 12 Hertz, 11 Hertz, 10, 9, and 7, it goes away again. And these two channels are independent of each other. So if I have separately any input, the corresponding output would be high. Um, I hope this demonstration shows the operation of the device. Um, again, this board um, using the same housing um, as the other project so I'm going to show you the housing uh, shortly um, this is the housing I mentioned uh, it's designed a way that uh, makes a very nice uh, coverage on the board so if I insert the board here you see uh, slides in and uh, fits very nice inside this metal housing and the uh, cap here the door uh, make a very nice coverage all over the board uh, again the main important thing here this uh, ground strip on both sides make a very solid connection to the chassis and helps to have a very nice uh, behavior uh, EMC behavior for this design. Thank you. I hope uh, you come back again and see other projects. Thank you.